you can you know, download an app and calculate your own carbon budget, your own personal emissions, and then you can actually play around with, okay, I'm not going to shut down all my air travel or shut down all my car um, dependency, but I can definitely start changing step by step so that I follow the pathway of cutting emissions by half. And I can assure you that it won't be such an enormous big step for, for most of us. Don't think globally, but think, what can I do here in my community? What do I care about? Well, I care about the homeless. Nobody seems to care. Okay, get some people together who feel like you and see what you can do. Sit down and talk about it. Or if you're a kid, you can clear litter off the streets and prevent it going into the rivers and polluting the sea and killing animals. Or, you know, there's all kinds of different things. You can't just uh, produce a lot of, of uh, electricity saving light bulbs and then add uh, hundreds and thousands of light bulbs on the Christmas trees and around the house just because you, you are saving energy. It's a contradiction there in the thinking that we are seeking alternative energy sources to continue our patterns as before, not to put demands to the society at large and individuals to rethink their, and it's my own too, patterns. But actually that's why I use my guksi. My wooden traditional guksi is a traditional practice it's to demonstrate that traditional practice has something to contribute with to climate mitigation by saving plastic cups and dishwashing. Um.